So I just bought my son a new aged domain that costs over $2,000. And I've given him a premium aged domain from ODYS to build a new website out. Am I crazy or am I just a good dad? Let's find out. Hi and thanks for joining me again on my channel. So today's video, I'm just gonna let you know about a domain name that I've just purchased for $2,160. That's right, over $2,000 on a domain name. Am I crazy? Well, possibly, <laughs> but hopefully not because my son's been building a website out. He's got into affiliate marketing, he's got that bug, and I think he just wants to quit his job and do something different, if I'm being honest. So he's hoping that he can build a website out like I've done and start earning an income from it. Now, I said to him, if you're gonna get into this business, you need to learn the ropes yourself. So I made him buy a brand new domain to start with and build a website out from scratch, which he did, and it took him around seven or eight months. He got around 30 pieces of content on there, and eventually he was getting a little bit bored with how slow the progress is. Like we all do, he waited for the Google Sandbox and eventually he started getting a few visitors per day and it slowly built up to maybe a few hundred per month. But it's slow going, right? We know the Google Sandbox now is an absolute pain. It takes forever to get out of. So he decided eventually that the niche was not right for him. And quite rightly so. He jumped into this niche just to get started. And like I said, I didn't give him any guidance. I wanted him to learn it for himself. It's the best way you learn is actually by doing it. So he picked a niche, he started building it. And eventually, like I say, he found that the niche wasn't for him. And I don't think it was, if I'm being honest. He wasn't passionate about it. It's not what he's interested in doesn't even fit his kind of lifestyle and his whole, you know, mantra and how he lives his life. So, you know, I don't think it was right for him. So he came to me and said, Dad, I want to sell the website. We advertised it on carlbrobin.com and we sold it very quickly. It's a good, solid website for somebody to keep on building. So he wanted to do a new niche and he wanted to see success a little bit quicker. He said, Dad, I don't want to wait another seven or eight months before I see some success. What can I do to speed the process up? So we had a couple of options really. We either bought a small website that was a few months old and continued to build it, or we bought a premium age domain. So that's what we started looking at. If you've seen my case study on GardeniaOrganic.com, a premium age website that I'm building out as a case study, you'll see that I'm having some real good success. So within the first month of that website, we're seeing around 500 visitors in the first month. And in fact, we actually saw our first sale from Amazon, made some commission after 48 hours. And I think at the moment, we've got around three sales for the past 30 days. So the website has literally only been up for around 30 days. And even better than that, we are also seeing a lot of page one rankings. So you can see a screenshot now from my SERP robot dashboard, and you can see a lot of number one positions in the first 30 days. In fact, I had one article rank on page one within less than 24 hours of the website going live. So definitely I've seen some incredible fast success that you just would not see with a new domain. So we took advantage of ODYS, it's a company that I use to buy my premium age domains. We took advantage of a service that they have, which is their pre-order service. So basically you pay a small membership each month and they alert you when a domain comes available that suits your needs. So you can choose the type of niche you want, the price you want to pay, the amount of backlinks you want to pay. And when one becomes available on their marketplace, they'll ping you an email and you can have a look. So we've been doing this because these premium age domains get snapped up like crazy. So there's big YouTubers and affiliate bloggers out there that are really looking at ODYS marketplace every day. And when they see a really good quality domain, they buy it. Even if they're not wanting to use it right there and then, they just buy it up and stockpile it. People like Shauna Newman is quite open on YouTube, how she buys premium age domains, and that's how she builds her website, and she's very, very successful. Craig Campbell is another SEO expert that openly admits he uses premium age domains. So there is something to be said for kind of buying an age domain where it's got a lot of authority and a lot of backlinks and you see a lot of success much quicker. Now, don't get me wrong, there are websites and premium age domains out there that you can buy that you will still fail on. There is no guarantee that buying an age domain is gonna work. 
you have to make sure that all the backlinks that these domains are getting are live, they are do follow links, they are still active, they are still live, and the website is not being used for anything in the past that's very shady. So you do need to do your own due diligence. And me and my son made sure when we picked this age domain that we thought was suitable for him in the niche that he wants to go in, we checked everything. We checked Wayback Machine, we checked YouTube, we checked Instagram, we checked directories, we checked Moz Backlink Checker, SEMrush Backlink Checker, Uber Suggest. We checked everywhere. And touch wood, the domain does seem to be clear. And in fact, you can see on screen now, here are some details of the backlinks that are already attached to that domain. And you can see there's over 100 unique referring domains with over 360 odd actual backlinks. Now, the reason we chose this domain, and like I said, the reason why I spent $2,000 of my own cash for him on this domain is because of the authority the age and the quality of the backlinks. So the authority, if you want to go by a MOZ rating, which is a, a DA of 36, which is very, very strong straight out of the box. It's not a, a top authority site, but that would be in the 70s or 80s. But to get a website at 36 to start off with is very good. It's around 11 years old and it's always been in the niche that he's chosen. Now, $2,000 may seem expensive for a domain name. However, if you look at those backlinks and you do an average price of a backlink and add those backlinks up in value, it will be a lot more than $2,000. So what do I mean by that? You have 102 referring domains on there. Here's a screenshot of some average costs of backlinks with a good strong authority, 30, 40, 50 plus backlinks and you, as you can see they're around three to four hundred dollars per link now not all the links on here are that higher da some are 20s and 30s so a hundred dollars 102 referring domains let's do some simple maths it's around ten thousand two hundred dollars and that's the sort of money you would have to spend to actually build 102 links of that strength that caliber on your website. Now, there are some really strong ones. We've got links from The Guardian newspaper, which is a 95 DA. There's Country Life on there, which is a 78 DA. There's some really, really authoritative links on there. So these are not 102 really poor links. There's about 60 out of 102 that are very, very strong. And those 60 would cost you five or $6,000 just on their own. So the $2,000 I've paid for this domain are for the age, the authority, and the backlinks. It's also in the niche that he wanted, and the past history on there is blogs and content that he's gonna be writing anyway. So it really fits the Hence, I splashed out the cash and spent over $2,000 for him on this premium age domain. Now, my accountant and bookkeeper on Monday morning are probably gonna go mental at me and wonder what the heck I'm doing, but, it's a calculated risk and I think to give him that head start and hopefully for him to see some success quicker, I think it's worth it. I don't mind spending that sort of money on my son as long as he's going to see some success and give it a go. And at the end of the day, I have warned him, I am a Yorkshire man, I am pretty tight with my money and I'm a shrewd businessman. I have told him that it is an investment. My company has paid for this domain. It is an asset of my company. And if he ever decides to give up on the website or sell the website, I can always resell the domain and I will probably get my money back. If not, maybe a bit more, because hopefully by then we'll have added some more backlinks and some more authority to it. So I think it's a pretty safe bet. I've, like I say, had to lay out that cash now, but I'm pretty sure I'll see the money come back. I'm sure in a couple of years, if his website's worth 20 or 30 grand, he's gonna sell it. He, he will, he'll sell it, and then I'll get my money back. So that's why I've spent over $2,000 on an age domain. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, do you think I'm crazy? Would you do that? Have you done that? Please let me know in the comments what you think. But for now, I thought I'd just let you know what's going on. As always, I keep you informed about my journey through YouTube. So thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video.